Uh, this is a video abstract for our recent paper. The archive number is 1004.5018. <coughs> the title is Indirect Quantum Tomography of Quadratic Hamiltonians. So Hamiltonian plays a central role in quantum mechanics. So without the precise information about Hamiltonian, we can't make any useful theoretical predictions or we can't analyze any experimental data properly. But as a specific class of process tomography, uh, the complexity of the procedure grows exponentially with respect to the system size. So it's a hard task, but at the same time, in the most cases, we have a priori knowledge about the system thanks to some underlying physics. So we expect such information, such you know, a priori knowledge, may be useful to reduce um, uh, the, com the, the complexity of the task. Okay, so we now, the, the Hamiltonian we consider here in, the, in this paper is of this form. It's quadratic in A and A dagger, which are annihilation and creation operators of either fermions or bosons. So, this class of Hamiltonian actually includes very interesting and important physical models, such as transverse easing model. And then this has been overlooked in the, in the recent uh, research in the context of uh, Hamiltonian tomography. So we saw a general problem of estimation with this uh, form of Hamiltonians. Okay, so the basic idea, okay, let's take 1D case for simplicity, but nevertheless we can, we can generalize this in, uh, to more general classes of graphs. But in the case of 1D class, uh, 1D case, 1D case um, the basic idea is to inject some signal from the area you can access and then observe the dynamics induced by this injection in this area. So these dynamics you observe must have encoded all the information about the system Hamiltonian. So that's, uh, that's what we want to extract from the experimental data by looking at here. Okay, so the nice thing about this Hamiltonian is this can be diagonalized by utilizing the bubble loop of uh, transformation. <coughs> By using a, actually this graph of this Hamiltonian can be mapped another graph which looks like a dual rail, but some connecting edges like these. Now the the estimation problem for this chain with this Hamiltonian becomes uh, the same estimation problem for this graph with a Hamiltonian that preserves the total magnetization. And this, this problem has been uh, studied quite thoroughly in the past. So now we look at this area and estimate everything. So indeed, this is uh, shown to be possible in the paper. And further, the initial so the initialization is not really necessary. I mean, we don't have to purify everything, everything, but all we have to do is to make it uh, be in the same fixed state, rho naught whatever it is, but realistically this can be a thermal state. So experimentally, so this is very simple, experimentally, so we just thermalize everything first, and then say some operations like phone number measurement in this area, well, which is this physically, and then observe the dynamics in this limited area. So this is experimentally feasible, and also mathematically quite clear. And th from theory, theory perspectives, this is interesting because it might uh, be related to so-called holographic principle. In a sense, we uh, this 
say, surface encodes all information inside the system. So we extract everything just by looking at the surface. So this is uh, interesting from both you know, um, theory and experiment point of view. So for, the, for more details, please refer to the paper.